everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Almon Shipley, who is a product manager on Google Analytics, and he is going to tell us all about setting up the Google Ads integration in your Google Analytics 4 property. So Almon, thank you so much for being with us today, and I'm going to hand it over to you. Great. Thank you, Krista. So excited to be here to tell everyone about uh, how to set up your uh, Google Analytics property with Google Ads. And now let's jump into some slides for some quick background. Out of the box, with Google Analytics 4, you have the ability to analyze the performance of your cross-channel campaigns. If you're also working with Google Ads campaigns, enabling the Google Ads to Google Analytics 4 integration will enable enhanced capabilities on top of that. So the first step is to link your Google Analytics 4 property with Google Ads. This can be done either from the Google Analytics tool or from Google Ads. Once you've completed this step, these new features and capabilities will be available in both products. So let's look in more detail about what is enabled. On the Google Analytics side, you'll get more detailed Google Ads reporting automatically in your Google Analytics reports. This includes things like more detailed dimensions about your Google Ads campaigns, like ad group and keyword, as well as metrics like cost and clicks that are automatically enabled without you needing to import any data. This can enable insights like understanding the number of sessions related to a particular Google Ads ad group, or understanding the events associated with a particular Google Ads keyword. You can also import audiences and conversions that you've defined in Google Analytics into your Google Ads accounts for use with your campaigns. For audience sharing, this is one feature that we've enhanced with Google Analytics 4. With Universal Analytics, you had a limit to the number of ads accounts you could import a particular audience to. With Google Analytics 4, you can import an audience to all of your linked accounts. On the conversion side, you can import app or web conversions into Google Ads. And these can be used for bidding and reporting in Google Ads. They're compatible with features like Google Ads Attribution and DDA. And now let's jump into the demo to set up a link together. OK, so here we are on the home screen of Google Analytics. To get started, go to the admin section in the bottom left, and then navigate over to Google Ads Linking. Here, you can see a list of links that you've already set up. To create a new link, go over to the blue link button. And now you just have a few steps to go through to create a new link. First, you want to choose your Google Ads account. In this screen, I can see all of the Google Ads accounts for which I'm an admin. In order to create a link, you need to be an admin on the Google Ads account, as well as an editor on the Google Analytics property. You'll see that I can link to a Google Ads account, as well as a Google Ads manager account. I can select multiple Google Ads accounts to create multiple links at the same time. So I'll go ahead and select these first two accounts and then click Confirm to get to the next screen. I can see the two accounts that I've selected here and click Next. So next, I want to configure the settings for this link. The first setting is to enable personalized advertising. This must be enabled in order to share audiences from Google Analytics to Google Ads. Note that you also need to have Google Signals enabled on your property in order to share audiences. For now, I'm going to turn this one off. Next, we have the ability to enable auto-tagging automatically in the selected Google Ads accounts once I create this link. If I already have auto-tagging enabled in those accounts, no action will be taken. If you want to disable this feature, you can click the down arrow and click Leave Auto-tagging the way it is. For now, I'll keep this enabled. I can click Next and review all the settings that I've configured for these two links. Finally, I'll click Submit. So we can see that instantly my two links have been created. And now we're ready to get started with Google Analytics and Google Ads. Thank you so much, Almond, for showing us how easy it is to set up this integration with Google Ads in your Google Analytics 4 properties.